a relocation, demotion, layoff, or pay cut. All are circumstances that give rise to a constructive dismissal or resignation with severance pay. In this episode of Employment Law Minute, we explore what happens when substantial changes are made to somebody's job and how employers and employees can navigate a constructive dismissal. Welcome to the Employment Law Minute, where we talk about common workplace issues and explore practical solutions for both employers and employees. I'm your host, John Scholes, and I'm joined by Ottawa employment lawyer, Alex Luciferro, partner at Sanfiru Tamarkin LLP. Good to have you here, Alex, again, talking about uh, stuff that we talk about when it comes to the umbrella of employment law. Uh, difference between regular dismissal and a constructive dismissal. Sure. So I think we all know what a regular dismissal is yeah. uh, here, John. We're talking about termination of employment when yeah. the employer chooses to end an employee's employment. Obviously, in a case like that, the employee is owed severance. A constructive dismissal is, sm is slightly different. A constructive dismissal occurs when an employer, through their actions, so not necessarily through their words terminating an employee, but through their actions, changes the terms of an employee's employment so significantly that the employee is allowed to basically resign, so to back out, to walk away from their employment, but still obtain a severance okay. package. Now, a constructive dismissal occurs in any number of situations. The most obvious would be if your employer tries to reduce your pay in a significant way. If you're making uh, you know, $60,000 a year and all of a sudden out of nowhere your employer tries to change that to $50,000 a year, that's going to be considered a constructive dismissal. An employer cannot do that to an employee, at least without the employee's consent. And uh, another case, for example, would be a relocation. If your employer decides to move uh, from one side of the province to the other and asks you to come along, you don't have to accept that move. You can resign from your employment but still obtain a, a severance package. That's what a constructive dismissal is. It's when an employer changes the terms of your employment in such a way that the employee is going to be allowed to say no and obtain a severance package. So if I'm an employee of this company and they say, hey, guess what, we're making some changes. What mm -hmm. do you say about this? I'm, you're moving from days to nights or we're going across the province. What do you do? Well, what you don't want to do is stay silent and implicitly accept the change. Right. So you don't want, you know, you need to address the problem when it, when it arises. And the way I would advise you to address the problem, unless you want to accept the change, that's certainly an might option. Might be a good one, right? Might be a good, it might be a good change. If it's not a good change, you want to say no. You want to put on the record that you are refusing to accept this change. Again, whether it's a change in pay, a demotion, a change in, in geographic location, you want to go on the record and say no. That puts the employer in the hot seat. It, it gives them the obligation to either try and force the change on you, which they can't. Again, that would be a constructive dismissal. Or they might hear you say no and say, okay, well, fine. I guess we're not going to change John's uh, position. Right. We're not going to relocate or, or demote John. So you've got to stand up for your rights and stand up for yourself as an employee and say, no, I'm not accepting that change. Uh, and if the employer then tries to force it on you, again, you're looking at, at, at resigning and obtaining a severance pay. If it's a change that the employer really wants to make, maybe even it's crucial, what, uh, what steps should they take? From the employer's point of view, yeah. there's a particular way you want to handle these kinds of changes. Listen, it's normal that in the course of a business, things change. Uh, priorities change. You know, f finances change, you might be doing well one year and not so well the other, and you need to make some changes to your employment. That may, unfortunately, sometimes involve having to pay an employee less mm -hmm. than they were previously making. The right way to do that from an employer's perspective is to give that employee reasonable notice of the change. So you have to give the employee the heads up that this change is coming, and that has to be significant notice. It's not going to be a week or two's notice that this change is coming. Right. It's going to be months and months in the making, and that then allows the employee to say, okay, well, I have advanced notice of this change. I could you know, manage my affairs such that when the time comes that this change takes effect, I'm prepared for it. They, it also gives the employee the opportunity to either accept the change during that notice period or to, to walk away. And if they walk away, well, then at that point, it would be a termination of employment, but at least you've given the employee the opportunity to effect that change. And that notice will ultimately count towards an employee severance package. Okay. So as an employer, you're giving yourself credit towards the employee severance package if you give them notice of such a change. Well, you kind of mentioned it there. So if an employee is constructively dismissed, what are they owed? They're going to be owed a severance, uh, a severance package as if they were terminated in okay. the regular course of things. Right. So 
in all likelihood, their severance would be based on their age, position, and years of service. It's going to be a significant amount of money. It's not going to be uh, most likely what the Ministry of Labor provides. It's going to be a fair bit more than that, as we typically see. And that is the that is the recourse. That is the compensation that an employee is going to receive in the context of a constructive dismissal. It's good stuff, pal. Appreciate it, Alex. We'll, uh, we'll leave it there for now. Are you experiencing an issue in the workplace? Contact us now. Help at employmentlawminute.ca or 1-855-821-5900. Again, go to employmentlawminute.ca. You'll find past episodes of the show, resources for employers and employees, as well as contact information to help you find practical solutions to workplace problems. employmentlawminute.ca. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.